we're going to look at printing out a string versus putting variables in and printing out the value of the variables. So I want to print out two date formats, the American and the European. Right now, they're printing just a quoted string, so it'll print out exactly what's in between the quotation marks when I hit run. And you see right there that we see the American and the European format. If I change 1990 to 1991, run again, you'll see a change right here. But of course, it only changes in one place. It doesn't change it down below. Uh, what I would like to do is have the year value here. So I'll just change that to 1991. But now I want to put that in both places here. Now, if I just go and take the word year and paste it, paste it, if I run it now, you're going to see year printed on the screen, which also is not what I want. I want the value 1991. All right, to do that, uh, one thing that's very useful is the color of the text. Notice that strings are this kind of orangey brown color. And I don't want the string year right here. I don't want Y-E-A-R. I want the variable value year. So what I need to do is I have to end the quotation before year. So now notice that year is in black. We do have an error, that's the underline red. If we look at what the error says, it says write parenthesis expected or semicolon. Sometimes the error messages are not that useful. What I need to do to fix this is put a plus sign in between. Now what that does it'll print out this string and then it will concatenate or attach the value, the numerical value of year. And if I run this, we should see 1991 show up. Now I do need to do the same thing down here if I want the same behavior. So I'm going to end right there. I did leave an extra space here. If you take that space out, you won't see, I don't know why this is highlighting weird, but you won't see that extra space there. So this single space is important and I just add on year. So that'll put year at the end of both of these, the value, not the letters Y-E-A-R, but the value 1991 inside the variable year. Now let's do something similar, but let's do it for day because day appears in the middle and it's a little more tricky to uh, turn this into the value of the variable day. So I could just go to just put day and day but as you probably guess this will print out day and day not Sunday. All right what I need to do is I have to end the quote and then start it up again. Now one thing that's a little funky if you notice well, I pressed quote once, but now there's two quotes. And if I press delete, it'll delete both quotes at the same time. So this is a little bit annoying. If you want to delete one of the quotes, you have to move the cursor to the right and then delete. So now I have a string to the left of day, a string to the right of day. In between strings and variables, you need a plus symbol. And so I need to put a plus symbol here and a plus symbol here. Now I better make the font a little smaller. Now I'm going to do the same thing down here. There's a few ways to do this. If you go quote like that, now I can go plus day plus. If you did happen to spell uh, the variable wrong, NetBeans will let you know. I'll underline just that in red and say, what in the world is this Daewoo? Uh, so I'll delete that. If you ever put your cursor uh, on any variable, either when you're declaring it or when you're using it, notice it highlights every occurrence of that variable in this kind of yellowy brown color here. And same thing happens when I move the cursor to day. It'll highlight both uh occurrences of day and the declaration. And if I had it in other places, it would also highlight it there. All right, let's go ahead and run it. So now you see Sunday, Sunday, and I could change this to any other day, Monday, 
you know, I can't put any value I want in here. Uh, all right, I like puppies, so let's go ahead and do that. Of course, it doesn't make sense when you read on the screen, but you can put anything you want inside of a string. Uh, let's leave it as a weekday. Uh, you can do the same thing with date. That is, that's the numerical date right here. So you can do the same thing with that and the same thing with the month. You will need to uh, do the same strategy I did where before I wanted to replace Sunday. So you have to put a quote before and after what you want to replace. Uh, it will add an extra quote sometimes. The reason it does is trying to be useful, but it's not always useful. Usually when you start a quote, you need to end it. So that's the reason NetBeans adds a second quote to end the quote you're starting, but it's not always useful as you're probably finding out in this lab. Okay, so I hope that helps. Of course, what in the world is Sunday? I call the variable day. So that's why it's in red, do that, there we go. All right, so this will uh, hopefully get you started and you do have to do it for the other two variables uh, that I didn't show here.